Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm so excited for today's video. I am gonna be sharing how I do my nails at home. This video is actually in collaboration with Target, which pinch me now. You guys know I love Target, shopping there, going there, spending too much money there. I'm sure you guys feel the same, but I am gonna show you how I do these nails. I know with this past year, 2020, a lot of us were forced to do our nails at home or just let them be, let them get gross. But this year in 2021, I have found that it has saved me so much money not going to the salon to do my nails and just doing it at home. It's fun, it's self-care, it's a way to pamper myself. I have been having so much fun with it. I've also been really loving color for the summertime, summer coming up. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I have been obsessed with color. I don't know where it came from, but I love color. So I really wanted to do a really fun, colorful nail art with a lot of products available at Target. Super affordable, super easy, fun little nail designs. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to achieve these nails at home. If you guys are excited and ready for this video, without further ado, I'm gonna get into it. Starting off with my natural nails, I actually just took off another set before this, so this is what my nails look like. Just no set, no anything. I always like to soak them in some warm water. I just mix hot water and Dawn dish soap, and I just soak them in there for a few minutes, get them nice and soft so that I can go in and start actually giving myself a manicure. So I like to take this little cuticle tool and go in and really get all of the gunk that's at the end of your nail I find that the acrylics look so much better when you actually take the time to give yourself a little manicure and this just makes sure that I get everything off that needs to get off next I like to go in with this little clipper tool I don't know what it's called but all of my manicurists that I've ever gone to use it and it gets off all of the excess skin and nail that's at the edge of your nails and it makes for just a really clean manicure overall after that I will go in with this little cuticle pusher again Probably not the correct term, but I use it to just get off any excess cuticles that are left over at the base of my nail. Once my nails are all at a pretty good and short length, I'll go in with some clippers, clip my nails down, make them super short. I will then file them and make sure that everything is nice and soft, buff them out, and get them all prepped for my press-ons. Now here are the nice and clean nails. This step is essential for me. This just makes for a better, longer lasting manicure overall. So now that my nails are all clean and prepped, these are the press-ons that I use. I love them, they're clear, they look like Gel X nails, but they do not cost a Gel X price. They're so affordable. So what I'll do is I will go ahead and measure each acrylic or press-on in this case to my nail and just make sure that it fits before I put on the glue. Once I have all my sizes and everything fits well, looks good, I will then start applying the press-on. So I will apply a little bit of glue on my actual nail and then a little bit of glue on the press-on stick it on and really just make sure that everything's on there and I will proceed until all of the press ons are on. Okay, so now that we have some super long nails, which were totally my vibe, maybe like four or five years ago, they're not my vibe now. So I am going to cut these down. I cut them down on each side. I will cut at an angle because I like to do an almond shape. I think that looks really flattering on just about anyone's nails. I think it's a really just flattering shape that I love. So I'll cut them down and then I have just a more shorter nail to work with. And then I'll go in with a nail file and file these down to the shape that I want. So these nails definitely take some time. They take some patience but I think the end result looks so good. It looks professional and I think it looks amazing. So you guys will see once I have all these nails filed down how good the shape looks. It just takes a little bit of patience, but I think it looks pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. 
So now that we have our almond shaped nails, we're gonna get into the fun part, which is actually doing some nail art. So we're gonna go in with some really fun Essie nail polishes. This first one is a really pretty blue shade, perfect for summer. It's a light blue in the shade in the cabana. The next one is a really pretty like dark teal in the shade in plain view. And then we have our clear top coat. This is a gel top coat. The two nail polishes are not gel, but the top coat is really gonna help cure the nail polishes. And I like to use a little nail light, UV light to just cure everything. I like to start with adding the top coat. If I'm gonna use a nail polish that isn't a gel, I'll put the top coat on first, cure it, and then I'll go in with my nail polish. So the inspiration behind these nails was really Spanish tile, which really reminds me of Portugal. Portugal is such a dream summer vacation to me, and summer nails is bright colors. I've really been into color lately. This bright blue color especially just is so inspiring. I love how bright and fun it is, and it just reminds me of Portugal. So if I can't go to Portugal right now, we're gonna bring Portugal to my manicure. So I'm really just doing random designs. I'm mixing it up between lines and then doing little flowers. I am not a manicurist, you guys. I am not a master in this, I'm not a professional, but I find doing easy designs like lines, dots, flowers is fun enough and it offers something different and gives your nails a fun little pop but it's not too unattainable. Anyone can do it, it just takes some patience and it takes a little bit of a steady hand. I also chose to use a paintbrush instead of the brush that the actual nail polish comes in because it's a little bit more detailed and you can really focus in on all of the work that you wanna do. So this is how the nails came out, just did the first hand, it looks so good. I'm curing it with the top coat and then I am going to put that under the UV light and make sure that it lasts. Gel nails are my favorite because they last you about two weeks, which is amazing. So in terms of method for this, I am doing the same thing for each finger. So each of the thumbs have the same design, each of the index fingers have the same design, and so on. So every single nail on one hand is different, but each nail on the opposite hand is the same, if that makes sense. So there's a little bit of symmetry, but there's also a little bit of differentiation, which just makes for a cooler, more interesting nail design. Okay, so now that my nails are all cured, I like to go in with some acetone nail polish remover and some Q-tips and go in and clean up my nails. So as you guys can see, and as I've said, I'm not a professional. There is a little bit of excess nail polish on the edge of my nails. Love this method for cleaning up because you get off all the nail polish that gets on your skin and it just makes your nail design look a lot cleaner. It looks a lot more professional, like you actually went and got them done, but no one knows that you did them yourself. So this step is key. Don't be afraid to mess up a little bit and color out of the lines. It just makes for a funner time doing your nails at home. Just know that you'll be able to clean it up. And there you have it. Here is my finished manicure. I hope you guys like it. I think it looks so good. You would totally think that these were done at the salon, but these were 100% done at home. So this look is totally achievable just with a little bit of patience and a bunch of really cool nail polishes and products all available at Target. I will have everything that I used, all the tools, all the nail polishes, everything linked down below in the description box. So make sure you guys check that out. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and if you plan on doing your nails at home this summer and what you guys are planning to do. I would love some more inspo on my next manicure. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!